Good morning from Quartzsite. <laughs> yeah, we, uh, sorry we didn't do a video last couple weeks. We just kind of needed a break from the world, I think. <laughs> but we made it to Quartzsite, um, got our camp set up here, and we're gonna show you guys around the Quartzsite, the LTVA in particular, um, the long-term visitor center where you can buy a pass and you can stay here for seven months total. It's from April, September no, September, 15th. yeah, 15th to April 15th. And it's 180 bucks um, total. And there's, it's just down the road here and we'll show that in the video, but uh, there's, you know, water, there's garbage, there's sewer dump. And you can go there as much as you need to. And as far as we'll show you around out here, there's, um, you can pretty much park anywhere you want um, and set up your camp and we'll show you our camp. A lot of people do decorations and designs and rock formations and whatever and we'll, we have some pretty cool footage of those too. So, um, And then the other thing is we're working on um, installing another battery on our trailer. Um, we should have videotaped a little bit more of it yesterday but it was hot. It was like 93 degrees and we probably should have waited until it was cool. but. We thought, well, we'll just get it done. But uh, we can kind of show you what we did. And uh, we're also helping another friend install two batteries. Um, and we bought Battleborn. We have two already, but I thought one more is a couple things. is uh, They're 31 pounds for the battery. And we're just using one on, on the trailer here. But um, we had two 6 volts, and they're 67 pounds apiece. So that'll save us about 100 pounds of tongue weight. So we thought that'd be a good thing for that. Um, and we need tongue weight. This toy hauler we have, I, I don't know. We haven't checked it for a while, but last time we checked <laughs> was 1,500 pounds or something tongue weight. And so we moved a bunch of canned food to the back and um, anything heavy we put in the back and then another 100 pounds off for that. And so we'll, we're working on it, but I mean, it tows fine, but still it seems like a lot, so. Anyway, we'll show you guys around here and hope you enjoy the video and hopefully uh, you guys are enjoying a beautiful day like we are. I'll show you around here for real quick. Real quick. This, is a view. this is a view from our camp. This is our friend Gary's trailer there. He's the one we're putting a couple Battleborns in. Um, we got a little uh, bird feeder under that big branch right there we put a water bowl thing it's actually an old gold pan but anyway we have uh, rabbits and doves and um, quail all kinds of stuff coming in here there's our camp we got it all set up John's having his coffee so we did a little landscaping ourselves here. Got our garage set up for the motorcycles. And we got the batteries off. They're just kind of sitting here, but that's what we had on there. They were 232 amp hours, but you can only use half of that. So one Battleborn actually is more than what that is. And then we're gonna use the space on the trailer tongue that is now empty. And we're gonna, I think we're gonna put our sewer hose or something up here, we'll make, make something for it. It'd be really nice to put the spare tire there, but then you're adding more tongue weight again. So um, anyway, we'll decide on that, but the Battleborn's inside now, so they like to be warm. So that's what we decided to do. And anyway, we'll get some other videos and show you guys the LTVA and then go from there. Hello everyone. Well, it's the evening now. We're, uh, we ran into Quartzsite to get some gasoline for the generators. It's still 90 degrees outside, so we kind of hung out in the air conditioning today. But uh, anyway, we're coming through Tyson Wells Road. This is the area where they do the big tent show, and there's all kinds of vendors that are starting to set up camp here, and you can buy anything from kitchen supplies to tarps to solar lighting, RV rugs, you name it, you know, it's, it's here. 
but uh, you can kind of see some of the tents on the sides. There's also food vendors and there's a bar over there with some music and different things like that. So What's that bar called? Beer Bellies. <laughs> Pretty cool little place to hang out. It's pretty nice. It's back down that alley there. Yeah. Well, we're coming up to the intersection. We're going to take a right, which is Highway 95 south towards Yuma. And we'll give you guys a glimpse of the LTVAs when we get a little bit closer so we don't bore you to death. All right, so here's one of the LTVA, which is a long-term visitor center. A visitor area they call it. Um, the one on the right is uh, La Posa West. There's one straight across from it. It is La Posa North. I go this way. <laughs> and then as soon as we get up the road here a little further, it's about two more miles. And then there's uh, La Posa South and what's the other one? The Tyson Wash. Tyson Wash, yeah. So we'll show you those. But, uh, so on the right over there you'll see Tyson Wash, there's kind of a, you know there's some RVs over there, there's a, all of these have a building at them, and they have a camera that watches you come and go, which is kind of cool, you know you meet your neighbors and stuff and they watch your stuff also, so, so that's Tyson to the right and then La Posa's here to the left. This one is the only one that has water, sewer, and garbage. The other ones have garbage, but they don't have the water and the sewer, so you have to bring your RV up here and dump. So this is the entrance. Usually if the flag is up, there's someone manning the station. You don't have to stop, but they do ask you to, as soon as you pull through, if you haven't bought the long-term permit, that you pull off to the right up here and bring in your license and for both vehicles and then you know pay the fee it's forty dollars for two weeks or it's 180 dollars for the season so that's kind of a good deal there is bathrooms over here on the left um and there's some more up here on the right i believe if you're a tent or a car camper you have to be within 500 feet maybe or 300 feet or something like that of the bathrooms um, just so that you know you don't have whatever out in the woods <laughs> you don't want uh, people digging cat holes all over the place here. exactly there's too many people and it's pretty clean you know once in a while the wind will blow and you'll see a little piece of garbage here and there but it's really not too bad um, Right here on the right side is a like a blue boy dump where you can dump your portable toilets or if you have a portable tote tank, things like that, you can dump it right there. And that big tank there is for fresh water to rinse out your hoses and things like that. All right, we are approaching the line for the dump station starts right there. Right there. There's the dumpsters on the left over there. You just drive up the little mound over there, drive up on top, throw your stuff out, take off. And we'll do a quick drive through here really fast where the dump station is. camera probably it's going to bumpy here but yeah there's two two dump stations here um, there's fresh water to rinse your hose but they don't really have a end on the hose to like do a sewer clean out like you have a black tank flush on your RV but so as soon as you come through here there's water spigots directly in front of us there's an RV right there getting water there's two over here and then directly across the street there's actually four other spigots over on the other side here and there's another outhouse over there also so it's pretty cool we'll show you guys a map of the different LTVAs what your pass includes things like that 
but uh, we're gonna get back to camp and figure out something for dinner and then we'll catch up with you guys in the morning these little paths out here people have built I guess to go to campsite to campsite kind of interesting we're just walking up to some other art here I'm not sure what it is yet Must be a state or something, I'm thinking. I don't know. I guess if you guys know, put it in the comments below. Here's another area that someone decorated for their campsite. And they were Canada, eh, also. This is some more art out in the desert. It's the a map of the United States. And I'll try and video it without tripping here, but it's got all the states on it. Canada's up above. And we're pretty sure the Canadians put it here because it says uh, March 2000, Canada 2008. So it must have been here for a while. But it's kind of cool. This must have took a long time. And John just said he's got Hawaii way over here. <laughs> so pretty cool. It's a huge... Good morning so we're just gonna wrap up some of our battery mess we our battery is in it's been in a couple of days but we still got to do some electrical um, just make it look nice and and get it in a box so I don't short it out with something yeah put it in the box and our friend Gary's he's got to do a couple more things electrical wise and make it look nice but um, I tell you one Battleborn is way better than the two six volts we had um, the six volts are fine, they're great batteries, but this just seems to last a little longer. So we'll get you guys a picture of our Battleborn in the trailer as soon as we get it finalized and it looks decent. And as far as our kitchen upgrade, it is amazing. Um, we've used it a lot and it's it's t tons of extra room, it's, it's awesome. Um, yeah, so that's a good thing. And we met a bunch of YouTube people here, which is kind of cool. We met a gal named Julie Tooley, uh, Box Van Dan, Cargo Van Dan, Cargo Van Dan Buckeye Kitty, they have a channel, they just did a renovation on a travel trailer, or are working on it, um, and, Box, and Van Box Van D, which gave us a shout out on her YouTube channel, and uh, she's a super cool person, check out her channel also, very nice, very kind people out here, and uh, they're all here to help each other. And that's what life's about. So um, we're fortunate that we met Dee last year at the RTR and also here in Quartzsite, I think at Beer Bellies <laughs> at the at the local little bar down there, down the downtown there. But anyway, check out our channel and uh, yeah, hope you guys like our video. Give us a thumbs up, subscribe, and uh, we'll check with you next week. Thanks for watching. Yes.